Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. Before we get started, I have to preface this with the same preface I've given every one of my videos that I've recorded in the past few days. I'm still a little bit sick, I apologize if I, you know, cough a little bit, get a little bit of the sniffles. Still got a cold, my voice is sounding a little bit better, I'm feeling better overall, but still sometimes there might be some times where I have to, you know, hork up a lung or something, and I apologize if that offends you. Oh, does a widow northern lion have the sniffles? It, yes he does. But we're gonna play some Binding of Isaac here. I'm gonna play as Isaac. Because, you know, fuck you, I'm sick. I can play as whatever character I want to play as. And we're just gonna try to basically, like... Let's say, it seems like the game's being a little bit framey here, but I think it'll be okay. Um, that might just be my eyes not refreshing at the normal frame rate. I hear that happens sometimes with people who have life-threatening illnesses like I have right now. Like the, the common cold. Uh, we got Sister Maggie right off the bat, which is pretty good. But anyway, we're just gonna try to rectify our... our, our not rectify. We're gonna try to, um... Repeat, relive, reimagine, reenact our previous run. Where actually, despite being super out of practice, well, that was not good. Uh, I did surprisingly well. I got lucky. I got some great upgrades, uh, particularly early on in the game. It's actually been a couple of days, so I don't remember exactly what upgrades I have. We will definitely blow up this tinted rock, though. Uh, and we'll get a key out of that, which is actually incredibly valuable because we are here on the uh, XL floors, meaning that we will need one more key to access the other shops. But anyway, we got all the way to the... T t we died on the chest, I think. We might have... I think we made it to Blue Baby, but it's... A touch and go, I can't quite remember. I'm pretty sure that's exactly how that shit went down. Though. So we're fighting Blue Famine here. I don't really remember Blue Famine. I think he... Yeah, he travels at like a slant when he does that move right there. So we're gonna be a little bit cautious here, because actually I can only get hit like two more times. Uh, which is not a whole heck of a lot. He almost... he homes a little bit. It would be a perhaps a better way to describe it. I might actually die against Famine here, which would be pretty goddamn disappointing. Especially considering there's actually a lot of health, like, outside for me right now. If we can just get him to give up his, like... Yes, exactly. Uh, give up his horse here, then we might be able to succeed. We get a cube of meat, so the uh, D6 is like meaningless to me right now. But we just gotta make sure we survive this. Then we can go back and get that health that I've abandoned previously. Might need a bomb to get it, actually. That would be very disappointing. Hopefully we get a couple of hearts out of this. So we get a spirit heart. Anyway, uh, it's something. I do want to go fight the second boss. However, I, I need to get some extra health first. Otherwise, it might be a uh, career suicide here. Or at least this run suicide. But anyway, we'll pick up this health rate here, and I can't remember if this other one was trapped in an area where we could not access it or not. I was. Well, we don't have any bombs, so I guess that's an easy decision for us to make. We've got functionally two and a half hearts. Let's go fight our second boss here. The reason I want to fight them right away, obviously, I think that's the most economical use of our D6. So we fight the boss. If possible, we use the D6 uh, to reroll whatever they give me, or I can use it to reroll whatever the devil could possibly give me. But anyway, we, we shall see. We've got a good run of familiars already, obviously cube of meat, you know, one cube of meat not necessarily the the most glorious addition to our roster here, but Sister Maggie is a, a decent upgrade, and it's one of those upgrades that I don't mind getting uh, from uh, the, the item rooms, because I never buy it anymore from Deal with the Devil rooms, so definitely reroll this range upgrade for a health upgrade, I think that was smart. Now we'll just look around for the second item room, this has been a good floor so far, I feel like I'm talking at like a million words per minute, which would just be unreasonable. Have you ever tried to conceptualize how many a million is? It's a lot. For example, if you know, or did, did you know, if you started counting from one right now, you would literally reach a million in like a million seconds if you counted a word per second? That's crazy! A million seconds, that's like three days! So we are going to explore a little bit more here. And hopefully we won't take any more damage. We did not get a deal with the devil, which I think is indicative of the fact that I have not been playing particularly well on this floor. Especially against the bosses. I did very poorly against the bosses. But that's okay, you know, that's gonna happen from time to time. Still getting into the swing of things, coming out of my NyQuil haze. I guess have, is NyQuil... that can't just be a Canadian thing, right? Cold, nighttime cold and flu remedies? My guess is that it's probably American, but I actually do not know. What I do know is that it is excellent sleeping time juice when your nose feels warm. I don't know, I don't know, go with some of this stuff. Cut me some slack, I'm coming out of a fever dream here. Exiting the first floor of the Binding of Isaac shortly, I hope. Although, you know, this floor's been kind of good to us with respect to, like, keys at least. I don't really want to use one to open the shop because I only have six cents. Maybe if I had seven, I would risk it. And that health is actually very worthwhile, it means you don't have to waste one of our few bombs. 
uh, getting that health that was uh, just sitting there a little bit earlier. So we're gonna probably take damage here. No, I think I might actually survive this. Okay, I thought I was gonna either run into that troll bomb or get like trapped in that little section over there. But so far it seems like we're gonna make it okay. So we'll see what this champion drops. I'm hoping, honestly, for more keys, because you never know. Oh, well, there we get one. Uh, you never know when you might need those. Like, you'd, I'd rather have way too many keys than not enough keys. I think that's a pretty obvious, you know, problem. Or an obvious solution to that problem, but... I felt that it needed to be said anyway. So get off my back, okay? So we, now we, have, do, we do have seven cents. We got Loki's Horns. That's a tears upgrade. We'll reroll that for homing bombs. So we effectively got five extra bombs. Is that worth the tears upgrade? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't really consider Loki's Horn to be that great of an item. So I, even if we lost, I don't feel like we lost big. It's not like we went to the roulette table and, you know, gambled it all on black and double zero came up or something. And I probably will, you know, with seven cents, nine cents now, uh, possibly even more by the end of this room, go to the shop. There's also a few different locations where the secret room could be. We have seven bombs, why not at least give it a shot? Ah, we found it on the first try, please. Uh, we got the Ankh. I would kind of like to reroll that, but the Ankh also functions as a solid one-up in its own right. Uh, and a one-up that has actually saved me and actually carried me through to victory a couple times as well. Wow, we get a seven cent compass. That was exactly the way that I wanted that shit to go down. Would have preferred like a seven cent candle or something. Oh well. Uh, the compass is definitely one of those passive items that, you know, in both Isaac and Spelunky is of the utmost importance. So we are going to go down around through here and then exit out the right side and head down to the next floor. I'm, oh, you know what? Two bombs for 12 cents, I think, is a solid trade here. And this will give us enough money to almost, almost buy something awesome on the next floor. We could use another bomb to get extra money here. However, what's the point? We're probably gonna find a scent just randomly in our travels anyway. So we will head down to the caves. Curse of Darkness. Obviously, every time you get Curse of Darkness, it feels like the, the, um... Or every time you get the compass, it feels like Curse of Darkness comes next. I hope that was the way I phrased that from the start. Can I kill one greed head, please? By the way, we absolutely need some more damage upgrades. As you can tell, per perhaps we can get lucky, come across a deal with the devil, and get Mom's Knife on the sword. Perhaps we can get even luckier and just come across, across Mom's Knife in an item room. That would be uh, the perfect scenario for me. In here we have a ladder. We also have, if you have a keen eye, a tinted rock down here in the bottom right, which is going to give us a golden chest, which is going to give us... Steven, which is damage up. That's awesome. All right, I'll take that. Uh, it costs us a bomb and a key, but that's okay. I will definitely pick up that ladder when I get one more set. Because ladder, I mean, it's not the best. Ideally, of course, you want a flying item instead of a ladder. However, the ladder almost always pays for itself, provided you don't get another flying item, like, right away. Oh, almost got hit there. So we should be able to just come in here, pick up three bombs for the price of two, which is a solid trade in my eyes and the eyes of anyone who has passed first grade mathematics. Sadly, oh, we cannot get these keys until we get another, until we get the ladder. But, you know, keys have like a five cent value each, so again, that's what I mean by the ladder essentially paying for itself. In almost every situation. Now, this is not one of the hardest bosses in the game, but it is occasionally one of the hardest bosses in the game for me. So we're gonna see how this works. For some reason, I can't help but feel that I have rage, even though I don't. Inevitably, I will get hit by this guy at some point. It'll probably be in a situation where you'll be saying like, wow, how is that possible? You had him, like, completely on the ropes. Only one of them was left. That was almost it right there, actually. So we've almost got one dead. We've got one dead, and there's only a little bit left in the second one. I assure you, I will still find a way to get hit. That's what I do when I fight this guy. Oh, wow. We actually managed to make that work. So we're gonna check out Satan first. We're gonna reroll Satan's items, because I hate them. Uh, and we're gonna pick up, certainly, Brimstone for two. Uh, and then I guess we'll just try to reroll the speed upgrade as we move along here, because that doesn't really appeal to me all that much. I would much rather have a health upgrade at this point, especially since I just gave up uh, two hearts in order to pick up Brimstone. I mean, it's a fair trade. Brimstone is worth two hearts pretty much every single time. Oh, it's the shop. Uh, however, still, I, I need. I feel like I need a little bit more of a, like a vitality boost. Let's put it that way. If this was Dark Souls right now, I would be very interested in putting points in vitality. So we'll check out what we've got in here. Uh, that's exactly what I wanted. I was actually, it might sound crazy, I was gonna say, like, realistic hope for this, one cent and one key. So now we can buy the ladder and pick up a few extra keys as well. And that will pretty much pay for itself right away. Brimstone, of course, always good. 
Well, not always, but in this situation is, is very good. Let's make sure they all die. We pick up a little extra health I can't use quite yet. We could also re-roll the devil item, or sorry, the shop items. However, I don't really want to. I would rather buy the ladder, pick up the keys, re-roll the um, da -da 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 speed upgrade, which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. But we still haven't been to the item room on this floor. So that still awaits us. We'll just walk over here. If only I'd gotten that ladder before I wasted the bombs to get the bombs. Wasted the bombs to get the bomb diggy diggy egg again. I, every now, that's actually tears upgrade plus two spirit hearts is okay. Uh, every now and then I get a message on Twitter. I think it's always from the same guy. And I, I know he's just, I think he's making a joke. So I'm not trying to say he's a dumbass or anything. But he's like, Northern Lion, why don't you make more Kid Rock references in your videos? And the answer to that question is, I only know like four Kid Rock songs, I'm sorry. So have we gone all the way up here? Or did we? I don't think we've gone to the right yet. Oh, this is not good for us. Oh, we have the ladder! Escape! Oh, very sneaky, very sneaky. We actually managed to get a trinket here. So every time we get hit, we will spawn some blue flies that will help us out. I was actually... I realized, you know, this is a small victory for most people, but... Uh, I was impressed with my, my movement there. Can I say that? I think I can say that. We got Peeper's Eye! I don't have a reroll anyway. So we'll just go with that. It's another familiar, essentially. It's just a way for us to do passively do damage while we're, while we're just hanging out in a room, which is okay with me. I think Peeper's Eye is alright. It does decent damage, particularly uh, if it runs into some bosses that just kind of hang out in like, the center of the map. Then it can be pretty valuable. But we are still struggling here a little bit with the fact that I have basically no health. <clears throat> we do have our boss trap room, though. So if I could come across an arcade, I would love to lose... Temporarily lose anyway half of a uh, half of my existing hearts in order to access that we've got a nice little spirit heart army with us right now So I'm not so worried about like overall vitality. Oh, man, that was pretty bad though. We lost a whole spirit heart on this room But oh, I'm too slow for the troll bombs god damn it It was all because of the, it wasn't because I didn't pick up that speed upgrade It was actually because of the cobwebs that I stepped on But anyway, here's our item room. We're gonna reroll monster man. Well, and we're gonna reroll um, what is that called anyway? Blood Rites? I think it's called Blood Rites. We're gonna reroll that when we get a chance as well, because I am A-OK -okay with my D6 right now. And the extra money doesn't hurt either, because potentially, you never know, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll fight Greed on this floor. First time that sentence has ever come together for me. Maybe we'll get lucky and fight Greed, and then Greed will drop a Steam Sale, or he'll drop some extra money, and we can go to the shop on the next floor. Because I don't think it's likely that we're going to find another awesome 7 cents item. I think it's possible, but I just don't think it's likely. And again, notice that every time I get the compass, what do we have happen? Well, every single time we get, like, Curse of Darkness constantly. Total pain in the ass. We're going to reroll Blood Rites again. All stats up, all stats up. Spelunker's Helmet. You know what? I kind of like it now. We're getting a lot of <clears throat> Curse of Darkness which makes it hard to find secret rooms. The Spelunker's Helmet will just point them all out to us, which makes our life easy. Not the greatest item in the game, unless we find something amazing in a secret room. Then it might be the greatest item we could possibly have right now. So our secret room is somewhere in this area. I feel like I'm playing Clue or something. The killer is somewhere inside this room. Well, there's only two locations. I'm gonna guess it's right here. And Golden Key is pretty nice for us as well. So we get a ton of money. This is definitely going to make the shop worthwhile on this floor. The other thing that makes the shop worthwhile on this floor, unlimited keys. So there's absolutely no reason not to go in. <clears throat> Unless I was like 100% sure that I'm going to fight greed. But even if I fight greed, you know, that's okay. We're going to survive that greed fight. We're going to come back stronger. Bill Conti is going to fly now. Is going to play. Uh, Survivor is going to be there. Not Van Survivor. I meant the original Survivor, Richard Hatch. Uh, another spirit heart, excellent, and we'll just continue moving onwards. We're gonna, uh, we don't have anything to reroll right now, but we can go to the boss trap room, which is awesome. This will also build up a stable of flies for us, if I remember correctly. So we get a nice little, uh, we get one fly per hit, really? That sucks. So I don't want blood bag yet. I'll take blood bag now. But this was basically just to give me some. Uh, basically take away health so that I can go back to that boss trap room, tear ass, potentially pick up whatever's in there. If it sucks, potentially reroll whatever's in there. Uh, and then, you know, continue moving onwards to what I assume is the boss room over here in the bottom left. I'm hoping, anyway, that's been the, the pretense that I've been functioning under. So we'll see what we got in here. It is HP upgrade. Certainly I'll take that. Always think that it's a tears upgrade as well. I don't think it actually is. But at this point, it's just become such an inside joke that I can't... It's, it's it's habit, you know. 
for me right now. Right, so Monster should be dead right now, and then we will have to deal with Larry Jr. This is gonna be an easy, easy boss trap room for us. Like the boss trap rooms on the caves. Don't like them on the uh, on depths usually. So we got this. We didn't have to reroll, and we will continue moving on and down and around here. I've been to the item room. I have not been to the shop. I have not been to the boss room. Okay, so those are the two that I'm looking for. And as always, my sense of direction is fucking horrible, so I have no idea. Okay, there's the boss room. We can just go to that right away, because we do have a reroll ready. Possibly another deal with the devil? Wouldn't bother me. This should be an easy fight. <clears throat> Not only uh, will the bomb flies die in one hit each, but additionally, they should do damage to the host. And, well, that was actually incredibly easy. So as long as we just watch out for uh, snakes here. Now watch out for debris. Should be able to take these guys out of the chain reaction. Easy HP upgrade. We will obviously go look for the shop, even if it's greed, and I kind of think it is greed at this point. Uh, it, it's worth it. So we managed to pick up some good stuff there. We got the secret room helmet, basically, uh, as I'm going to call it from now on. Additionally, we now have uh, way more health than we started with. There's our shop. Perfect. And another secret room. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess that that secret room... Oh, that was bad damage. But hey, extra spirit. I'm going to guess that secret room is right here. Lucky me. Contained therein. Two spiders. Maybe not so lucky. In our shop. Super greed. But, important to note, if he drops something we don't really want, like, I don't really want the quarter. I would probably... I don't even really want the steam sale, to be honest with you. Um, so if he drops an item, I can just re-roll that item and possibly get something even better. I mean, it's it's somewhat high risk, high reward, because if it re-rolls to a spacebar item that I don't want, we're just going to leave it here. Whereas the steam sale is passive. Well, we didn't... I guess the best laid plans of Mice and Men doesn't really matter. We did pick up about six cents there anyway, though. And I guess another charge on our D6 that we're not going to use. And beyond that, just the you know personal satisfaction of having cleared out this entire floor of baddies so that we can safely come back down into the catacombs sometime. You know, maybe have a slumber party down here. There's lots of nice, dank air. So, we will now enter the depths. And I assume, again, oh, we're, I think it's XL. It is indeed XL, but the item rooms are so close together. Let's reroll dead birds who get little chub. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's take a look at our second item room before we do anything too crazy. Now, we don't have to use any keys. We can just pop this open, take the money, and run. And we got lard here. I'll take the lard. Now I would love a speed upgrade because I'm pretty goddamn slow. I'm, but I'm also, you know, pretty goddamn... Damaging. <laughs> That's the words that I'm looking for here. So what we want to do is just get max uh, D6 charges that we possibly can. I keep thinking Keeper's Eye is an enemy, by the way. That's going to be annoying as I move forward here. First tarot card, I think. And it is Judgment. That's awesome. Oh, it's Demon Judgment. I can afford it. There's a boss trap room over there anyway. So I need to lose health regardless. Another pill. Okay, sock it to me. Oh, gave him more than I tangled for there. Bombs are key. Uh, sure, okay, that's alright. Not great, but it's all, it does, does the trick. Alright, I'll be back for you with more health, I promise. But for now, we're just gonna go reroll. Maybe we should take Little Chub now, or Little Chad now, because I'm in this position. But I still think Little Chad is like one of the worst items in the game. Or we should take this pill first. Oh, god damn it. Alright, let's reroll it. Doctor's Remote, it's a pretty bad item. Good news is we're gonna have tons of chances to reroll here. I'm assuming. We get a spirit heart after we kill uh, Larry Jr. here, which again should be pretty easy. Uh, okay, so there's a spirit heart. We need a little bit more to get our D6 charge, and which time we will have the secret room is here. I did take some damage, though. Getting a little bit concerned about all this damage that I'm taking. This is not gonna fly in the wound. That health is important, though. Uh, we have two secret rooms here, actually. That's awesome. Luckily, we have enough bombs to access them. First one is just a slot machine. I'm not going to bother with that too much. And our second one is a... Hopefully, money... Pe oh, peeper's eye. Come on, buddy. Dick move. Second one is a fortune teller, which, you know, let's play this like four times. I don't want to get the tick is the only thing. 
So our Emperor takes us directly to the boss. Useful moving forward for sure. And one more time. Okay, so we're gonna exit here. We have no bombs left, so we can't blow it up. We got Greed again in the shop, which is disappointing because this is our only shop on this floor. So we are not actually gonna be able to spend any more money. Despite having like 50 cents now. Nearly 50 cents anyway. And our other card, Hangman, allows us to fly for a room. Not that useful. I would rather have the Emperor because once we get down to the womb, the cathedral, this is going to be uh, exceptionally valuable for us. So, you know what I'm going to say next. We're going to make our way back here. We are going to reroll Doctor's Remote into the quarter, which is, again, eminently useless for us right now. And uh, then we're going to play Demon Judgment twice. Hopefully he'll give us an awesome deal with the Devil item, but if nothing else, I need to play him at least one more time just to be able to access the boss room anyway. Well, there's another pill. It's health down again. That's that's pretty bad. No need to mince words on that one. Uh, let's... <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll go down to the boss trap room. Because, you know, there could potentially be, like, a health upgrade there that would give us full health or something. Uh, but I'm, I'm uh, like, stuttering like crazy here. But I'm also hinging my hopes. That was the word I was looking for. Uh, hinging my hopes on this demon judgment giving me something truly amazing. Which is possible. It's happened before. I think it happened in my first uh, Wrath of the Lamb run, actually. So we only... We don't even need it, but we'll take it. We'll take one half heart. We can't get any more health, though. So we're going to be able to su succeed in this room fairly easily. Blow this dude up. And we're going to have another reroll very shortly, which we are going to take back to the unluckiest item room in history. The key, very valuable. So we're we'll gonna take this reroll back now. We're probably running out of rerolls. I think we only have like two left, maybe. But I really would love a great spacebar item, so that I could get rid of this D6 that is not gonna be that functional for me starting soon. So let's put this in. Reroll. Um, Celtic Cross. You know what? We'll take it. Occasionally, this is gonna give us some invincibility. That's gonna stack well with the Polaroid, uh, depending on how our health looks once we get there. And if nothing else, we can now finally go to the boss room unimpeded and stop worrying about these rerolls. Celtic Cross, I think, is an item that has once or twice saved my ass pretty substantially, but oftentimes uh, ends up having an effect that is not really that noticeable to me. But it certainly beats the quarter in this situation, I think. So, there is our boss trap room. There's a chest. No hearts, thank God. And it's a friends till the end. Sure, we might as well take this before our boss trap room. We'll take the Emperor card back. Let's see what we got in here. That's the coin purse. I'm gonna reroll that, so I'm gonna get another uh, charge on this first. Oh, that was a bad jump. Bad jump for me. It was a good jump for them. Uh, and then, should be able to come down here, reroll this to something I want a little bit more. Yes, I will accept that. Coin purse could have been amazing, but it also could have given me like three health down pills, which obviously is not really what I'm looking for right now. So I'm not doing a whole lot of damage. Chubb might take a little while to kill, but I think after Chubb comes Peep, I believe Peep has... Oh, actually, that wasn't so bad at all. I believe Peep has less HP, though, so he should be easier. Although also occasionally a total pain in the ass. For example, those shots right there. But things are going to get really confusing once Peep starts shooting its own eyes out. I mean, the eyes do look different, but when you're just looking in your peripheral vision, it can be very difficult to tell which one is which. I guess just try not to get hit by any of them is the sound strategy. Even the ones that are your own property. So one more. Nope, not quite. Die, die, die. Oh god, he didn't die. There we go. He was one extra shot away. That's super shitty, actually. So again, I'm gonna pick up all this health on the way back. And, well, all the health that doesn't require me to waste bombs, anyway. And I'm going to, like, hemorrhage it all at Demon Judgment. Like, if Demon Judgment doesn't give me anything, this is going to be shitty. If he does give me something, well, that's awesome. So, we've been to both treasure rooms. We can basically just rush the boss right now. It's going to be fine. Who are we against? We're against Mom, obviously. And even if it's a champion version of Mom, we're going to have great crowd control from Brimstone and, you know, occasional, like, ambient, or ambient, <laughs> ambient, uh, ambient uh, crowd control from Peeper's Eye, anyway. It's going to, like... Hit the walls occasionally when I don't even notice. Oh, and we actually get Celtic Cross to proc here. That's awesome. So that we can then play this thing a few more times without taking any damage. Seriously, like... You've got to be kidding me here. Well, we put about a thousand hearts into Demon Judgment. 
We have Strength. Strength is fine. Emperor is better. Um, there's other... Hierophon. Okay, that's a good one. And what was our... What was that orange pill? That's what I want there. Emperor. Okay, Emperor I get. I want... Bombs are key. No. <laughs> Why don't we take Strength? Use it, and then play Demon Judgment another two times. Really? You're gonna go over there? Uh, now I want to charge up my D6. So I can reroll that Hourglass. This has been a very weird floor for Isaac play, for my standards anyway. Doing a lot of rerolling, a lot of, um, like, planning as well, which is, is not normally my style. Full health. Oh, tears down. Well, that's not terrible when you're using Brimstone. Could be better, of course, but could be worse as well. We might as well start clearing a path to our boss room, because there's nothing else we're really looking for here. With the exception of rerolling this uh, Hourglass, obviously. An item that I very, very rarely use. There's our D6 charge. Hopefully we won't have to feed in another charge. We'll just be able to go now. So we roll that to the magnet. Not necessary when we have the ladder. So, well, there are some situations where it would still come in handy, I guess. However, not very necessary. I would rather reroll that to something else again. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's clear a path to the boss room so that we know we can just go there very shortly. The extra health doesn't hurt either. Oh, ah, I can't believe I got hit tagged there. Okay, we got another bomb. We'll use this bomb to access the chest, and then we are almost done with this floor, I promise you. Which is good for me as well, because my nose is getting pretty goddamn stuffed up. As you might expect, dude. Hey, if you're sick, you know what's awesome to do when you're sick? And again, I'm not... I'm trying to keep things in perspective here. My job is pretty goddamn easy to do sick or well. But when you're sick, you know, talking for like 45 minutes, not necessarily the most fun. We'll take Halo of Flies. Uh, and then we will just head down to the boss room down here, where we are going to probably destroy Mom fairly quickly. The reason I went with Halo of Flies, I probably could have built up one more reroll, but Halo of Flies is really useful on the Isaac... Wait, oh, it's double boss, I forgot about that. Um, Halo of Flies is, is really useful on, like, Blue Baby Isaac fights, so I'm going to stick with that. We will not have a reroll for this fight, which is shitty. I guess I could build a reroll for this one if I really wanted to. Oh, that was bad dodging. It was actually the opposite of dodging. I just, uh, ran right into him. We get an HP up. That's exactly what I would what I would have wanted anyway. And then we will fight Mom here. So we won't be able to leave after this is over. This is just a regular version of Mom. But we're doing like ten percent, maybe five percent per hit. So things are going pretty well for us here. We're already about you know a third of the way through Mom's health. And every time it gives me an opportunity to hit like two pieces of Mom at the same time. That is a no-brainer. So we're already below 50%. Brimstone makes it easy. Oh, that's true. Brimstone makes it easy for us to uh, kind of hit the segments of mom across the map, like whenever a piece of lard kind of comes out from the sides of the walls. That is not a problem. We're looking at maybe one or two more barrages here. This might do it. Very close anyway. Alright. So we have Cat of Nine Tails. I still consider this to be a pretty terrible item. But we do get the Polaroid. Actually, this gives us speed upgrade, right? No, just shot speed upgrade. Okay, so we're gonna definitely stick with the Polaroid. Not the fish head, and we will move down to the next floor. Which again, I am hoping... Oh, now we have a compass, so we can see much more clearly. I mean, we've had a compass for a while, but it's not Curse of Darkness. That's basically what I was trying to get at there. Uh, and this is not the right way to get to the boss, which means we might have sort of a roundabout way to get to the boss. But hopefully it's pretty quick. I still have my D6, so I, I want to get rid of that as soon as possible as well. Uh, I guess we might as well. You know what? I'll play this ten times. We have to be cautious about this. Spirit hearts are nice, but what's not nice is getting the tick. And ruining your chances. So we got six more plays left after this one, I would say. Five more plays after this one. Kind of relieved to not be winning, because it means I'm not going to pick up the tick by accident. But again, more spirit hearts would be nice right now. Nope, still no luck there, sadly. But one more play after this. Another Spirit Heart, excellent. So far, 10 cents for two Spirit Hearts is fine by me. We pick up a, basically our money back. We paid three cents for two Spirit Hearts. A-OK -okay in my book. So we'll enter some rooms here that we'll actually have to do some killing on. And we might... Nope, I was gonna say we might find our boss room uh, very quickly, but I think now what we're looking at is actually... Uh, 
either up and around or down and below. I think it might be down and below, which is unfortunate. You know, you almost never find the boss room, like, super close to the start of the entrance in, in the womb in utero, but this might be a particularly long one. But, I mean, we have the we have the health kind of required, and the, the skills required, and the brimstone required to move ourselves uh, into a position where we can be successful here, so... Should be okay. I predict that we're gonna at least make it to the cathedral. Because again, the mom's hard boss fight is incredibly easy if we can just get to it. Especially with Brimstone. Sometimes it can be a little tricky if you don't have the items necessary to make it happen. But now this is the way that I'm thinking is going to be the correct way, so we'll see if I was indeed right about that. Could be wrong, but that turn to the right there seems to indicate to me that we're, we're on the right track. Let's get these guys to pop up. Again, these guys are so much easier to take out when you have like a long-range weapon. Like Brimstone, for example. We're probably about six rooms away from the boss here, so I, I could reasonably foresee myself not taking any damage, but it all depends if we run across rooms with like Gertie Juniors, uh, the asshole Mask of Infamies, as well as like levels that make it difficult to kind of like traverse the Mask of Infamy, because I don't have the ability to fly yet. Possibly a good deal with the devil here. Who knows? Lots of possibilities up in the air. One thing's for sure, like, our chances are still in flux. We have a good chance of success, but also a good chance of failure. And it's all going to depend on uh, what kind of upgrades we're able to accrue as we move forward. And of course, we will be hoping that we can get to the chest with four keys so that we can actually uh, pick up the four items there. Some of which could potentially be useful, although usually they do not pan out super well. We do have our D6, I mean, if I can carry that to the chest, that might be the only reason the D6 is still valuable in the late game now. It's because you can carry your D6 to the chest and then potentially reroll four shitty items at once. Anyway, Loki, super easy. That's a tiers and HP upgrade, and people have told me it's a damage upgrade as well. Not sure if it's true, but in any case, I am not gonna, you know, question authority on that one. Why do I not have my Emperor card? Did I... Oh, I think I never picked it up again after I used Strength. That's stupid. That could have saved me uh, so much hassle. Not here necessarily, but uh, on on the next floor, like on the Cathedral or the, or the chest. Really, I can't overstate how useful that could be to me right now. Let's see what we've got in our secret room. We have lots of money uh, that is largely not important to us, but you never know. Maybe we'll come across uh, several judgments. Unlikely, of course, but stranger things have happened. I'm not sure stranger things than that have happened, actually. In the history of the universe, probably, but in the history of planet Earth, maybe. In the history of uh, my Isaac play, I don't think so. Well, that was lucky that I didn't take damage there. Like, coming across four judgments on one floor, I'm not sure if that has ever happened before, so let's be careful here. I'm looking to go to the left after this. Nope, this is a dead end. That's okay, you never know. Bob's rotten head, maybe, from this guy, and then we'll reroll it to make uh, something even better that could actually be useful to my quest here. Well, so far so good. Yeah, okay, that was solid. <laughs> that actually worked out incredibly well. If I would known that it would be like Gish in there, I would have gotten in there 100 times out of 100. So now we have a slowing ability, which will be useful. We're taking out some of these assholes that we are gonna deal with. Extra bombs always nice, because we don't have a whole hell of a lot from Monsar here. We have enough to do some damage, but not enough to do uh, a lot of damage. We're going to be focusing mostly on Brimstone for that. And Peeper's Eye, I guess. So we're going to check this out very briefly. I'm not interested. If it was a golden chest, I might have. Because there's a possibility for an item that we could have rerolled. For example, just like that. So we're going to reroll Tammy's Head, obviously. Because it's an item that... I, Tammy's Head is an item that is totally okay. I, I don't dislike it. And it's actually, like, exceptionally more valuable to me at this point than the D6, probably. However, I'm, I'm holding on to this idea that... Eventually, the D6 is going to be great once we actually get to the chest. So that's Dead Sea Scrolls. That's not good. I would have rather gone with Tammy's head. But we can build up another D6 charge, I think, before our mom's hard boss fight. <clears throat> that's my hope anyway. It looks like there's a lot of rooms down here. So I won't have to do too much backtracking to make it happen. Not the most efficient way to get to mom, but if we get another good item along the way, then that's definitely worth it. We're almost back to full health, too. It's been a long time. It's been since we found that Demon Judgment on like the depths part, or the depths XL, that we've had full health, so that's pretty crazy. That I am actually probably gaining more health than I'm losing here on the womb. Or the, yeah, it is the womb, I thought it was you though. I mean, say six of one half a dozen of another to a certain extent. So, kill this dude, kill this dude, get the D6 charge, 
Take the bomb, walk up, reroll Dead Sea Scrolls. What do I want? I want either blue candle or something passive, I think. Miter! Actually, that is passive, and that gives us a good chance of success moving forwards, because we're going to get way more Spirit Heart drops now. And I'm starting to think our chances of success are pretty strong. It's going to depend on a few things. It's going to depend on whether or not we can get through the Isaac fight in the Cathedral. That's going to be a huge factor. But apart from that... I think we'll be okay. I totally forgot that we had homing bombs. This is like the first time I've used them at all to fight a boss or like in combat whatsoever. I think it might be. That's okay. Better late than never, I always say. We'll drop some homing bombs in here. What this means is that I can use homing bombs and then try to use brimstone to like take out the stragglers of the other enemies that they come about. We're gonna be in continuously firing bombs territory in a second here. And there we go. Duke of Flies is still alive. Oh, no, now he's dead. Uh, but I don't think Mob's Heart can spawn bosses after... Oh, man. Uh, it can spawn bosses after it starts continuously firing bombs, so we don't have to worry about Chubb. A little bit more should be enough to just end it here. One more barrage, maybe? Well, yeah, I think Gish actually might have gotten a killing blow there. So we'll take our Half Heart. Here we did lose a uh, whole Spirit Heart during that fight, but that's still pretty good. And then we'll make our way over to where I assume we're going to run into Isaac. Now the slow effect is going to be great on these white flags here that are otherwise total pains in the dick. And I think this is how we get to the boss room, which is pretty amazing. And we're going to find it so close to the start. Now again, we're going to hold the D6 and basically just hope that uh, we get an incredible suite of items that we can reroll in the chest, if necessary. But for now... Looking pretty solid, I think. I could play this a little bit. We have a second secret room. You never know what might be contained in there. Eternal Heart could be useful. More Spirit Hearts. Just a shit ton. Oh, man. I, <laughs> I should have picked up that half regular heart. I totally forgot. But anyway, here we go. I hate entering the room from this side. It always just feels more natural for me to dodge from the other side. We don't have any bombs with which to deal with this fight. However, we do have a lot of advantages. The uh, Halo of Flies are obviously really nice. Also, Gish is a huge pickup. Because that's going to slow down the speed of these shots that come out of Isaac. Which will in turn make them much, much easier to dodge. At least for the first two phases. After that, it's going to get a little tricky because we're going to have to watch out for the angel fetuses, of course. But for now, we're doing like next to no damage here, which is a problem. But I like the, the Celtic Cross giving us the extra blessing here. Making it so it's possible for us to make it out of this lab. We have the Ankh as well. I totally forgot about that. It's been a, kind of a marathon run. Uh, so if we die, we're just going to respawn as Blue Baby, but hopefully we can avoid that at least until the chest. Because I don't want to go through this whole fucking fight again. We've only been hit twice, which is not bad for the Isaac fight, you know, answering its halfway point here. We can definitely survive a little bit more than that. Oh, that was a terrible shot. But, Halo of Flies saved me. Basically, our power right now is our incredible ability to either dodge or absorb shots. That is what's going to make this uh, a possibility for me against Blue Baby, because it's clear to me right now that the Isaac fight is, you know, maybe not easy, but it's going to be over soon anyway. And we are going to succeed and move on. So now we have to worry about the Angel Fetuses. But we do have uh, Peeper's Eye, and that's something that is going to possibly come out here and, and clear out these Angel Fetuses for us in situations where otherwise we would find it difficult to hit them. It doesn't kill them in, like, one touch, which is a problem. Not a problem necessarily, but a, a, a detriment. Not a detriment, an annoyance is really what I was going for there. We haven't been hit in a long time. This feels good. It's a nice little, kind of unusual suite of items for for the final fight here. Well, I guess it's not really that unusual. We do have, you know, Grimstone, tons of health, uh, Halo of Flies, which are pretty common. There we go. Finally took a hit. First time in a little while. Isaac's dead. He drops a Spirit Heart, which is actually more valuable than a Red Heart to us right now. And... That'll do that, and we are onto the chest. And there's a secret room here as well, but the boss room is so far away. So what do we have? Um, we have Poison Touch PhD, or that's I think that's Speed Rage. Yes. So I was gonna take that. We have PhD, which I don't want. We have Bomb Bag, which I don't want. And we have Attack Fly, which I don't really want. So let's reroll all three. If we get one good item, it's worth it. Wafer Damage Resistance. That's huge. Uh, then we can choose Bean or Spider Butt. I'm gonna go with Spider Butt. And we can always come back here and re-roll these items again if we want to. But spider Bot is good. It has the, the freezing ability. And it also does damage like the uh, Necronomicon does. So, I think this is going to serve us well. 
possibly, if I had Nun's Habit, it would be better, of course, because now Nun's Habit Wafer is just a, a great combination. I would get, like, I mean, Nun's Habit anything is a great combination. Usually any spacebar item, anyway. Uh, but, what am I trying to say? I mean, we just have, like, for that blue baby fight, we would have, like, unlimited uh, spider butt charges, which would be awesome. So, Gertie should be deceased any second now. There we go. We'll get back to full health for the first time in a long time, and we'll check out down here where we're going to find another Gertie, and I think this is the right way. Believe it or not. So we will have... I always forget Spider, but I guess it's a two-room charge, which is good because it means it's going to charge more often. Uh, and when would we want to use this on the Blue Baby fight? We can use Bean as well, but Bean is not that useful. Just like one-time poison damage, this is a slow that could prevent me from taking a ton of damage. Keep in mind, with the Wafer, I should only be taking half hearts as damage now. I think we're going to succeed on this run. I honestly do. It's not a given. Like, a lot of my runs, by this point, you're just like, oh, it's guaranteed what's going to happen. Might as well take the Luck Foot, I guess. I mean, there's nothing stopping us from taking it. Uh, it's the shitty room. But I'm not going to waste the Spider Butt Charge on it. Because I think Brimstone should be enough to help us get through here easily. Oh, it's a dead end, though. That's the problem. Okay, so we'll come back through here. Should be very quick to find the um, boss room now. The path to the boss room anyway. It's possible, unlikely but possible, that it's like a big up and over or something. But I certainly hope not. That would be really disappointing. That would mean we'd have to go through like pretty much every room in the chest. So, still going strong here on Super Wrath. Two Super Rats, I mentioned this in the last video, but it's one of my favorite uh, combinations that you can get to play against in the chest. Simply because they hurt themselves so often. We get more bombs there, that's Mr. Mega. Again, tons of reroll potential, but I'm going to stick with Spider Butt. Now this has the potential to be an absolutely horrible rune. But let's drop some bombs, get them to eat them, uh, take them out as soon as possible, because we don't really need bombs for that blue baby fight. Going well so far. Actually, I mean, we could use bombs for the blue, blue baby fight. Because every once in a while, we're going to get hit, and Celtic Cross will give us invincibility, so we can, like, run up and drop a bomb. And I guess we have homing bombs as well, but it's not a huge deal. Okay, so spider button recharged. There is our boss room. We're just going to go to town on now. So we've got one more room, which contains famine and pestilence. Oh, no, war and pestilence. Okay, right. Forgive me, it's been a while here. And I'm trying to take out Pestilence before we turn to war. Because, you know, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing, I guess. That's what I hear, anyway. So war should be entering... Oh, shitty. Should be entering this state soon, and indeed now he is in here, so I feel like a jackass. But, are we... I don't know if the waiver's working for us. I still feel like we're taking one heart per hit, but I haven't really been watching it very closely. A little bit more. There we go. And now we will fight Blue Baby, and this is a fight that I think we can win, honestly. I'm gonna save Spider Butt for the second phase, or until things get, like, really bad for me. Because the second phase should be a little bit tougher for us. It should be more frequent shots, more frequent homing shots, and uh, this will allow me to dodge them with a little bit more effectiveness, I think. Most important thing for this fight, keep Gish on, uh, on Blue Baby at all times. As long as those shots are coming in, uh, the slow blue baby, I'm gonna be able to dodge these shots way, 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 way more easily. And of course, only like one in three gish shots will actually slow. So you do kind of have to weather the storm sometimes just to make it happen. But so far, zero damage on this blue baby fight, and I think we are pretty much in the clear. It's still fairly early, but, uh, there's not a lot that I can see happening here to make me lose, like, getting hit either like 10 or 20 times in order to actually lose this. And you know what? Let's use our spider butt there. A little bit of frozen, a little bit of slow. And a little bit of damage from that Necronomicon style things. The Necronomicon damage from uh, spider butt is pretty low though, I think. At least on these later levels. We're going to be entering third phase, Blue Baby. Any second now. That means Angel Fetuses. Angel Fetuses has become the most annoying phase for me. I still don't think I've been hit on this fight, which is crazy. When I do get hit, I mean, we still have the Polaroid protecting us a little bit when I get low, anyway. Uh, and I only get low after I put on my at the bottom jeans and the boots with the fur. 
How many people out there just said with the fur right now? Class of 2008, represent! Uh, anyway, I'm not even class of 2008. Either for, either for high school or university, so... Never mind! Um, this fight is, is almost... I hate to say it, it's almost a little bit boring right now. Even with all this shit shooting at me. Uh, this is a no-brainer. I think we're definitely gonna win. My right nostril's totally plugged, so the timing could not have been better. Sick boy beats Isaac. Provided I don't die to these angel fetuses here. Not bad! Not bad at all! So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time!